Hey guys, heading in. That's uh, unfortunately my first target. Looks like a piece out of a cigarette pack. Straight 14, loud. I mean loud. That's the third piece of uh, can I found in that same line. So that's the jewelry. You know, you're going to find your chains in that same line as well. Another piece of cancel on the same line right down by the water. This gets frustrating, so a lot of the guys don't even uh, bother doing it. So there's jewelry down here, guys. Just pick out all the trash. Sounds like a one. It's a pretty loud one. Oh, one of those straws. Haven't had one of those straws in a while. First target in the water. First target down here, but watch. Watch these bubbles. This current pulling into this pass is something else, guys. Something you don't want to mess with. Don't, like, you can see where it starts getting deep. That current's going about, I don't know, three, four miles an hour at least. It's pulling hard. You do not want to mess around with this. The way that this beach is straightened out, it doesn't have a corner anymore. It's drawing hard through here. So I bet in the next few days, I'm not hoping, but I'm betting people are going to get sucked into this pass. Because like, I mean, I stand in water and this is wowza. Like, I'd love, I mean, I want to go deeper, but no way. Holy moly, this current is something else right here. Twenty-four, twenty-five. got to record a dime, guys, because the targets are that far, few and far between. There's a lot of sand, but I'm guessing the metal detecting channel has had a little bit of an influence on... Uh, how people hunt oh I love that look at the color of that thing looks almost silver it's got that tarnish to it it's a 1415 stones are finding me what do the little brown ones mean that's really cute, guys. It's really cute. No targets today, hardly any at all. A 24-25. I've got to show you this because I think my a dime was my last target. It's a fresh drop. Um... Yeah, there's just no targets. You guys have done a good job at cleaning this place out. Allowed six, six, seven, eight. Right on the surface. Oh, look at that. A little cute little gold ring. Very cool. Oh my god, I thought I was gonna get shut out. Oh, and I see markings. Very cute. I don't know what those black things are, guys, but. Well, what? Oh my god, that was so hard to find a ring, and it's a little. It's a little baby ring. Oh, but I found gold. Right? So even if this is a one gram. 
one gram of 14 carat. Let's say one gram of 10 carat is $23. $23, I'll take it. Solid 19. Nope, probably a shield penny now. Shield. Shield penny. Little split shot. That was a buried two. Really loud. Loud bouncy 11. Bouncy meaning sounds like it's close to the surface. Almost that bolt's worth. Holy moly. Very cool. Almost done, guys. Love you. Thank you for watching. Okay, guys. So here's the wrap up for today. It was, uh, let's see, four hour hunt. Nothing except for this little cute bracelet and then this little beauty. I can't, let's see if we can see the marks. There's the marks. 14K, we'll take it. 14K is what, $32. That's one gram, 32 bucks, I'll take it. Maybe it's one point, you know, 1.8 grams. Very cute. I'll take it. Number 70. Love you guys, see you tomorrow. Hey guys, how cute was that? Can you see it? Maybe we can get focused on it. I don't know, maybe that's too bright. Is that too bright from underneath? Little cute, it's two colors. It's got like a, like a whiter, whiter leaf band or something right in there. It's really cute. So, uh, I did want to finish this video by uh, talking about uh, my everyday process is, is record, edit, upload. Um, some days I lose content. Uh, I don't talk about it a lot because you guys don't want to hear about complaining. Uh, this last trip to uh, Cocoa Beach to meet the guys from North Carolina for lessons, uh, I lost some of my footage. So now I'm down to one GoPro the other GoPro sound is messed up. My other GoPro won't come on. I gave the other other GoPro 8 that I had to um, Frank from the morning show. So I'm down to one GoPro 7 Silver. I like the Silvers because you can just recharge them for two hours. They got a two hour charge and then there's just a click and go. You just literally turn it on, turn it off. So I think I'm gonna buy a couple silvers. That way I have really convenient, easy cameras to use. Plus they're affordable and still give a really good quality. So um, here's a piece of the lesson, the, the piece that I do have. Uh, guys, it was a pleasure meeting you. Um, till next time. Love you guys. Enjoy this a little bit with these guys. Way better than that junk. <laughs> now, uh, you need a scoop, you need a scoop too. So, uh, here's the two weights, guys. If you want to compare that, you've heard me compare the weight and I always brag them. about. Them. So, that's stainless, and then that's the titanium. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's a lightweight. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Heavy. Yeah, mine's oh, a little wow. heavier than that. Maybe. Yeah, and that's the CKG, and I ripped three of those apart. Oh, for real? Like, yeah. Oh, you broken these? Oh, yeah. Crush them. It crushes them right in the back because you pull back in the wet sand too hard. Uh, and yeah, now with that like... longer handle, if you're at the top of that, you really have a lot of leverage. So you yeah. really got to be careful. And I talk about it like I'm like, I could rip this handle right off. You hear me say something like that. Yeah. And it's a 10-year warranty, oh, wow. but I could still, you know, it's with anything in life. We've got to use discretion with
Yeah, so if, it's hard to hear with the wind blowing, right? So the better sounding your ears are. Right. Yeah, so obviously uh, that's a no-brainer for you guys. <laughs> Eli's got a scoop, but he'd rather get down on his knees with a pinpointer. <laughs> 